Hello, I'm Dale Hoagy, Superintendent for the West Central Area School District. The WC Board and I would like to thank you for taking time to watch this informational video. The video is comprised of several PowerPoint slides, plus explanations and comments from school board members and myself. We encourage you to continue your quest to find out more about our three valid questions. Thank you very much. Challenge, learn, succeed. These are words we focus on when making decisions at the board table. This school board and the previous boards before it have spent many years trying to come up with a solution for our facilities. Passing questions one, two, and three benefits all learners at West Central Area, preschool through seniors, and strengthens our district. Even though I'm relatively new to the school board, I've been following the facility planning struggle for years. We are at a point that change needs to occur. With the passing of all three referendum questions, it will allow for change, improvement, and growth within the WCA communities. The building bond referendum scheduled for this fall has begun to start uh, some conversation in the community, um, primarily about the, the elementary sites, but there are two other questions on the ballot that will impact our students at WCA. One is uh, has to do primarily with uh, academic areas, and the other one has to do with uh, more of the co-curricular activities. So I'm standing behind the, the, the school building right now in, in Barrett, and I'm facing the tennis court. And one of the things that's to be done within that, that academic change is to develop a, a fitness area for our, our physical education program, but it was also will double as a training area for our, our sports program. So the garage that's behind me uh, would be removed to take into another part of the, the parking lot for us. And that area, a 27,000 uh, 27, square foot area, would be turned into a, a fitness space, a fitness center for our students. It would include uh, cardiovascular machines, treadmills, some weight equipment. And again, like I said, it'd be used for uh, physical education and also for our co-curricular activities. And then between the tennis court and the existing parking lot, we've always had a concern at WC of of inadequate parking and and those of you that come to a, a football game or, or come to a, a wrestling match recognize that that walk gets to be quite a distance so the green space that sits between the current parking lot and the, the tennis court would become a parking area and that would be, make it easy, more easily accessible to our, our, our secondary school building site. Uh, another project that we have uh, would be refurbishing the tennis courts. Uh, they've, they've sat in a dilapidated condition for a period of years and the idea that we have is that we would re refurbish the tennis courts and make them available again for our FIAD classes but in addition to marking them for uh, for tennis, they'd also be marked for pickleball and pickleball uh, according to my sources is a, a uh, a sport that's being picked up by a lot of adults in our area and across the nation it's becoming a very popular sport for us. And uh, another part for us that, that has to do with um, more with the athletic portion of the, the project rather than uh, the academic portion is our, our football team currently practices on our baseball fields. They don't have a, a full-size football field without being interrupted in some space by the, the infields, uh, the agro line of the surfaces. So, so with movement of, uh, of our softball baseball fields to a different location, developing a new complex, the area that's to my left would have room for three practice football fields uh, that would provide opportunities for our, our, our athletes, not only in grade seven and 12, but also our youth programs also. And then the, the parking lot is immediately to my left, 
parking lot would be uh, rather than gravel that would have an asphalt surface placed on it also and the surface would come through right where I'm standing and then become accessible to the, the parking lot that's going to be placed between the tennis court and our existing parking lot as well. So those are some of the, the things that would happen in this area of the building. There are other areas also that, that uh, we'll move to and I'll address what we plan to do with those spaces as well. Hi, I'm in the weight room at the West Central Area Secondary School. Um, as you can see by the, the space in this area, uh, we have equipment around the perimeter of the room and this room is about 1,000 square feet. And when we bring a, a FIAD class in here uh, with 15 to 20 students, it gets to be quite crowded. And the other thing about this room, it's set up primarily for a speed and strength, which is more uh, applicable to our, our sports programs and developing speed and strength. So what we want to do is we want to make this more of a physical education space. We want to add uh, a section onto our gymnasium area of 2,700 square feet. So now we have a, a dual purpose yet. So we have cardiovascular fitness, so our FIAD students are, are engaged in activities that provide for them lifelong fitness, so we'd be adding treadmills, elliptical machines, stationary bikes, but then all the weight equipment that we have here be transferred there as well. Then after this room is vacated, this becomes another wrestling space for our wrestling program. Hello, my name is Gary Sabalik. I've been a member of the school board at West Central Area for the, for the past six years and uh, we as a school board have unanimously put together uh, questions for you to consider on November 2nd um, and I'd like to talk a little bit about question number two which is a little confusing it's expanding classroom spaces labs and equipment to support STEAM which is science technology engineering arts and math as well as career and edu technical education um, we are truly blessed to be in communities that care and where we have opportunities to offer our students in the future. Uh, these, this uh, question in particular will give additional programming opportunities for our students here at West Central Area that will allow them to come out with lifelong skills that they can use in the career fields that will support them and our communities into the future. Thank you. One of the areas within question number two is, is a, a steam area, it's an addition, and it would fill in the area behind me, uh, approximately even with the wall and fill in this corner and come to about approximately where I'm standing right now. And that would add an additional 24 to 2600 square feet uh, of classroom space and then another uh, 1000 square feet of, of meeting space. And we're often asked what is, is steam and it stands for science technology, engineering, arts, and math. And it's not just those programs, it's any curricular area in which uh, staff members want to take their students for some collaboration. Uh, they have an opportunity to set up projects that could be that could be left in those rooms on the tables or put into storage areas. But what it does is it provides an opportunity for our students to work through collaboration and some, some experimental processes and, and learn about the, the concepts of developing an idea and coming up with a product at the end. So the area part of that academic uh, question number two is the, the STEAM area. Another area to be addressed under question number two of our Building One referendum is uh, to you know, improve spaces, expand spaces for our career and technical education program, specifically for vocational agriculture, um, our automotive program, and also for industrial technology. The area behind me houses those, those three programs, and the proposal to expand that is to add another 3,600 square feet um, that, that encompasses the parking lot and goes from where I'm standing and would line up with the end of the building that's existing there. So it's pretty easy to visualize the, the expansion of that, and it'll provide us more opportunity for our students to do work inside. We're, we're in an area of uh, the state in which um, uh, vocational agriculture and uh, some of these career programs are, are, are very key to us and we want to provide an opportunity for some of our students to, to gain these skills, these skills in the classroom. I'm in the shop area of our VOAG department and, and VOAG, uh, we have a, a great program, we have two instructors and we have one that works primarily with the, the plant-based or agronomy portion of our vocational agriculture and the other one works primarily with uh, 
the, the machine part, the thing that would have to do with the equipment and welding and, and uh, cutting and things such as that. So this space that we're in, um, it gets cumbersome and crowded at times because of projects. You can see behind me over my, my left shoulder, there's a, a tractor that our, our students have gone through and, and refurbished. So when they bring projects in, it makes less space for our students to work. Behind me to our right is our, our, our welding area and, and our, our, our torch area. So we're kind of in crowded conditions. What we're, what we're planning to do with uh, uh, passage of question number two is to expand this space to provide more room and then uh, perhaps uh, an expansion of our curriculum. Uh, we do have an, an automotive hoist in here, but, but with that automotive hoist, if, if, if you envision bringing a vehicle in here and other large projects, projects, it really cuts down our space. So we really wanna find uh, uh, additional area for them. Um, to, to work on those larger projects. And then the other thing that would be done in this area would be uh, a cleanup, a modernization, and a, and a renovation of the space that we're currently in as well. Question number two is a huge part of question number two is our ag sector here at the school. We could, we're, are, we're proposing to add 3,600 square feet to our ag department, which will be absolutely huge with our greenhouse uh, coming online, um, hopefully this year. And I hope, I hope people in the district realize how lucky we are to have Mr. Swatsky spearheading this effort because it's huge for our kids. Um, we're gonna, it's going to be a, a beautiful greenhouse in the back of the school where the kids can learn where their food comes from, how many kids don't know where their, school, their food comes from. Um, so we'll be able to teach them. They'll be able to grow uh, their own produce and learn how to do that. So that's a huge part of it. And question number two also is, is a, a part of the, uh, part of the project there is re replacing the back parking lot because the back of the school needs repair. And so if we're gonna have a greenhouse back there, our proposal is to have the back of the school look as good as the front of the school because there'll be people coming to visit uh, from other schools to see what Mr. Swatsky is doing. And so we also proposed replacing the tennis courts in question number two. Um, adding parking space in front of the school closer to, so we would have parking all the way up to the tennis courts. And so that way in the middle of winter when it's 20 below out, more people are focused closer to the main entrance. So there's a lot of things in question number two, along with the fitness area. Fitness for me is a huge part of, of our kids' lives. Um, if we can teach them you know, physical fitness now, and that'll hopefully stay with them through the rest of their lives. And that, that's, a, that's a big part of it. We're in the industrial tech shop of the, of the secondary school at, at WCA. And as you kind of peruse around the, the room here, you see uh, well-equipped, a lot of tables for work. And uh, we, we have a, 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 an abundance of opportunities for our students in this classroom setting. The, the place where we probably run into a, a little bit of a problem is, is storage. So when these students begin putting projects together that are larger in size, whether it's a, uh, a cabinet, a gun case, or something such as that, they begin to get a little bit crowded in here and they're, they're moving things around a lot. It also prevents them from doing any larger projects with, which would be structures such as buildings and that work was typically done outside and as we're in Minnesota we don't always have uh, the weather that cooperates with us so by expanding an, an area here and adding a, a 40 foot section outside of this wall what we get is we have additional space for, for, for expansion here, um, storage of projects and probably taking on projects that might be a little bit bigger in size. We're in the Family Consumer Science from the West Central Area Secondary School Building. Um, Family Consumer Science, a lot of you might recognize that program by its prior name, which was Home Economics. And uh, th there's a lot more done in the classroom today rather than just the traditional things that were taught in, in Home Economics. No, this room, when it was constructed, was constructed primarily as, as a way in which we would replicate uh, a residential setting or a home setting. And one thing that we'd like to, to add as an opportunity for our students is a, a commercial kitchen area. So it won't convert the entire space to commercial kitchen, but would add a unit that'd be commercial kitchen so they, they'd get a taste or feel of, of what it'd be like to, to work at a restaurant situation. So part of our question too, the, the, the academic portion of our, our Billy Bond referendum is uh, an upgrade in, in this space.
So the school board was very intentional about the process that we used to allow taxpayers to have a voice in this election. It's not a normal election year, um, it's a special election, and we had a lengthy discussion about do you have a centralized voting um, place that voters go to, or do we do mail-in ballots, and we decided to do mail-in ballots. One of the reasons for that is to allow every single taxpayer within our district to have a voice. Um, similarly, Instead of having one question on the ballot, we broke the questions into three. One question is not contingent upon another, so if you're passionate about one particular thing, um, or two things, or if you're passionate about all three, you have the ability to look at those questions separately and, and vote along that way.